So I'll tell you how to make a notes for your final exam and for your NEET MDS exam. In this video, I'll also show you how I made my notes while I was preparing for my NEET MDS exam. So I'll personally suggest you leave your first page for the index. So at the very end, you do not have to search for something by flipping each and every page. So I'll give you the method of starting out your exam is your note making age. First start up with a very beautiful heading so that you can always approach it later also. The two method for note making. Right. Split method and the systematic method, and I personally prefer systematic method. What is split method? Split method is, for example, this is your page, and you divide your page in different, you split basically your page in different compartments like this compartment this compartment this compartment i'll show you the example for this method now for systematic method this is what i personally prefer how this method work is you start with your main heading in this you with a different pen you will note down the context right and if any context have sub points you will note down with the different orientation like this will be the main headline for your first main heading right and this will be your sub point and in same way if you want to add like this is your second heading you will again add up and this the main heading is again you will go for your context and for sub point advantage of this method is you are always aware of what is your heading and which one is your sub heading so you don't mess up in later scenario and one other advantage is you can always point out like this is important this point is for your mcq this point is for say for your short note right so you can approach them and also if you have any empty space you can use for any extra information right so now i'll tell you there Setting. I'll show you a live demo for this note. Like for not making their rules. Rules for not making. And what are these rules? The very first rule is do not. This is the first rule, and it is very important. It is basically your essence for your not making. You are not supposed to write word to word from your books. Second tip is use, use short sentences. Right? You do not want to write word to word. Like you do not want me to say, right? Please write very short sentences. You're taking up too much space. Your notes are supposed to be concise. It is not supposed to fill with a lot of unnecessary information. The second thing you must, fo you must never forget is use short forms. Especially if you are planning for making neat MDS notes or for NACT, 
you are supposed to be particular about it like for example you can use this for with you can use this for without you can use this for increases and this for decreases you could use like cc for chief complaint you can use like some short form like for medicine like for patient you know it which a short form for paracetamol is also some custom made short forms for certain like for example what i do is for any word containing t i o n i just write it as t and n like for example there is something like realization and how i how i'll write it real i j sen now j another thing you must look at c in this form you know that realization is a sub example a sub point for this point and this point is a sub point for this point which is also a sub point for rules you will never mess it up you know how each and every point is related to it i'll give you an precise example with my notes you will able to rule out which symptom is related to which pathology and then the very important method is use symbols in abbreviations some very common symbols are like you can use star for important you can use this and this which also a in short form we discuss you can use equal or this for similar right you can even make your own personalized symbols see the one thing you should never forget the most important rule is every note should be make what it mean is only you should be able to understand your notes see how i made everything connected now i know everything in this line is a sub point for rules and these all are sub point see in this point what i want to point out is that this point is important i can just circle it put a star over it this is important and whenever i was going through my notes i just look at it the only thing which will be very visible is this either it's a wrong or it's a correct and how do i know it's a wrong like for example if this portion is wrong so i can just write it as wrong i know it this circle will made it very visible or i can write this part as controversial hey right? or i could write as most asked or i can write it as hot it hot topics again if i want to move to next topic i could just switch up and just write another topic and start up another topic which is type of pen i suggest you use three kind of pen black blue and red and why black for main heading blue for context in red for important topics see now i know that this is number 2 heading so there'll be a number 1 head and how do i find it very easily i'm not very confused only see why i'm saying this to you 
when you will be reading your digits like for example you, you will be reading your leukoplakia in the very center you will write leukoplakia in the leukoplakia you will have intro first heading then you will have etiology then you will have pathophysiology and then you will have clinical features then you will have radiographic features then you will have histological features then you will have diagnosis like and after that you will have treatment and for leukoplakia i will put capital s correct and in this i will just write out the context right and in the context which i will select like for example no radiographic feature for leukoplakia right i'll just write it here and a circle over it i know it i whenever i'll be reading leukoplakia i'll know that it's here and if i make another heading like for osmf i'll just write it as b and write o s and f i know if if it's b there is an a and if there is a b there must be a c and if there is no c then you know, i know that these topics are end up ending up here only that's how you will summarize your notes the other few things you must remember is third point you should remember is scope of upgradation always leave scope for upgradation in your notes for example you find new information topics right your notes will never be complete right you know that always remember you can never have complete notes remember this you have to upgrade your notes and you always leave how do you leave the scope for upgradation there's two method in the systematic you will always have empty spaces right for example in this area this is empty space which you can use like in this area you can use it for upgradation here also you can use it for upgradation in every point you will have some amount of space to add something new also there is another thing you must do is always leave two pages after completion how i just completed the completion here and sometimes what i do is if i want to write completion i do this just a one dash or if i just want to write completion with this or t or that see you have to customize nobody else will be able to understand what this is somebody will somebody would not be able to that's how you leave this scope your notes are you know very systematic well arranged somebody can adapt to it if they try but at least you 10 years from now you can still read it that's the main point of making the notes Right. so if your topics are here leave just two pages and start a third to like second topic from here you can use these two top pages for new topics there is another thing which is also very important is use or figure and image let me show you an example for this this will be self explanatory so charts for this also i'll show you some very beautiful examples from my notes these are the few tips i want you to remember and how to tackle your notes right and wish you very good luck if you still have doubts let me know in the comment section if you want notes let me know in the comment section okay 
थैंक यू वेरी मच पीस आउट